Welcome to the studio at African Utility Week and PowerGen Africa. Today I'm speaking with the team from Conlog about metering in Africa. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, then, let's talk about the landscape of metering in Africa. The landscape is quite interesting at the moment because there are several drivers on the African continent to move into a more smarter space. Uh, not only as people uh, in 2019 find themselves without power, you got a lot of political pressure, uh, legal regulation that's driving the need for uh, metering and cash collection. So it's more of a revenue management for the utility so that utilities can find themselves in a cash positive uh, situation to actually provide the services that the African citizen needs. So uh, revenue management becomes uh, quite uh, key in this context and uh, revenue protection, monitoring that cash register, which is actually the meter, monitoring the cash register to make sure that we have full visibility as to what is transacting on this uh, cash register all the time becomes important. So the landscape is, is exciting. There's a few drivers pushing for uh, a more smarter system. And uh, together with people demanding access to energy, it becomes a very uh, niche requirement that the African market has to respond delivering uh, energy to people. Wayne, that's a very dynamic situation. What excites you about the African market in particular? Okay, so what excites me in Africa, we really are in a pursuit of technology. Innovation is driving metering projects around the continent. We have learned from the, 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 the projects in the Europe and the USA. We can mitigate against those risks. We can roll out the best robust products to market. We can make sure that we have a fit for purpose product. We ensure that revenue protection is coupled with revenue collection. And, and we have a robust system that actually delivers real value to our customers. Salman, what is the future vision for metering in Africa? So as we move into the fourth industrial revolution with everything being online and interconnected, uh, we see metering being part of that ecosystem. Uh, such that you know, we are able to directly connect the meter to the cloud uh, to get your you know, actual usage uh, consumption of, of the consumers and to be able to help them control that uh, consumption. And then you know, with the cloud systems, uh, especially in the prepaid market, users are able to then buy electricity from their homes on the apps, cell phones, uh, and top up the electricity. And in terms of in post-payment mode, being able to pay a bill and actually manage your consumption during the month so you, you know, able to uh, know exactly what your spend is for the month. Because uh, right now, I mean, you, you use electricity, your bill literally comes almost like 60 days later. So you're not sure exactly what that bill is going to be. Uh, with the, the way meter reading is done, you, you're paying average consumption rates for a while, and then suddenly you get hit with this, this massive bill. So, you know, what, what we see is that you know, at the, the billing date, the consumer will know exactly what he's going to be paying for that month and can budget himself accordingly. So, yeah. so then, disruption is a buzzword in the industry at the moment. How is that changing the way you do business in Africa? I think fundamentally we've got to really look at how, Af how we get a, a foot for market for Africa versus what works in the rest of the world. Um, what we've seen from experience is Africa is quite unique. We have uh, a mixture or a hybrid of of new infrastructure versus old infrastructure. We have a hybrid of, of, of good communications in urban areas versus no communications in rural areas. And obviously there's uh, power interruptions. So looking at uh, generation as, a, and as, as an example, having a hybrid of a microgrid and a grid connection will suit some applications on uh, in delivering access to energy. So. Disruptive technologies needs to be applied to make sure there's a fit for purpose for each scenario that we encounter on the continent, which brings its own dynamics because in one scenario, solar will work great. In another scenario, uh, we might use hydro, we might use uh, microgrids. Sometimes for the meter, RF works brilliantly uh, because we got uh, a good range and there's uh, little barriers. And then in other cases, PLC will work perfectly, but where there's coupling issues on the grid, then your PLC technology could be challenged. So I don't think there's a, uh, there's a clean cut solution that we can uh, use a paintbrush and just say, this is what the African solution is. It's gotta be 
technology and disruption fit for purpose? When and the meter is at the center of all of this. Yes, definitely. So that's why you have to ensure that you have a trusted partner. They have to be with you throughout the services, the infrastructure. They have to be there when there's something wrong. As Vivian said, not every meter suits every condition on the continent. That's why you need to ensure that you investigate what your problems are, find out what's the best fit for purpose on your grid, and then roll out quality trusted meters and that are innovative and future-proofed. Thank you, gentlemen. Very interesting stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more industry-related content. Thanks.